Oh, hey, what's up? It's finally time to talk about the Wagoneer. So let's roll the intro. I started the work. It took longer than I'd expect. It's called the Wagoneer Store Project. Part one of... <clears throat> Part one of three, I think. All right, so let's talk about the Wagoneer. This is one of the most iconic automobiles in the world. It was first built in 1963, and it went all the way through multiple car companies, AMC, Chrysler, and it finally wrapped up its production in 1991. That's the last model you can get. I've always loved these Wagoneers. I kind of grew up in one. Me and Jeff used to drive around in his old Wagoneer all through high school just talking about life and girls and the things that high school guys talk about. And after I finished high school and went on to college, you'd see them less and less often on the road because they were just sort of falling apart. And it was always my dream to own a Wagoneer and restore it and take care of it. So I was living in Jackson during residency and I found one for sale. So I bought it for about 4,500 bucks. I drove it around for a year and it just wasn't dependable enough to be a primary vehicle. And I wasn't in a place where I could put the money and time into it. Uh, and so I had to sell it, but I sold it for I think 8,500. So I turned a nice profit on it and had a great time with that Jeep. I love that thing. Fast forward a few years, and I'm back in Louisiana and we we're going through all that infertility stuff. We were seeing doctors in Jackson. So it just reminded me of the old Jeep and I went and looked in the papers and sure enough, there was this Wagoneer. Pretty much, I just said, let's take it. Almost sight unseen, I bought it. So we went and looked at it after one of the appointments and I met the guy, it was really nice. He had done some work on it and we put it up on the U-Haul and we drove it home. So the first thing you gotta do when you're gonna restore a vehicle is know what you're up against. And this one was in pretty good condition. There was some rust underneath, the engine ran, but the AC didn't. It was the basic problems you'd see in an almost 30 year old vehicle. So I wanted to make this thing nice. I brought it up in the shop, me and Henry took a look at it, and it looked good from a distance, but when you get up close to it, it had a lot of dings and scratches, and a lot of the wood vinyl decal was kind of coming up, and there were lots of bends and dents behind all that vinyl wood. So I knew that had to come up. The paint was coming off of the roof. And so there was a lot of body work that we knew we would have to get done. The seats were cracking, the carpet smelled bad. The first thing Henry said when he got in there was, why does it stink so much? And so I knew all the interior had to be taken out. I knew we needed to body work on the outside. Basically everything that you could see needed to be replaced. I wanted the body to be pristine. New paint job, new wood, new molding. So I had to track down all that stuff and I'll get into that in later episodes. But step one in my mind was fixing up the motor. You know, get it running right and then worry about all the aesthetics later. So I took it down to Ace Automotive to start working on that thing. They were very thorough and Brent actually did a great job. We replaced all the bushings that connect the body to the frame, new leaf springs. Every single rusted part that he pulled out, he wire brushed and sprayed with a, a rust coat. So it looks totally different underneath there. So let's take a look under the hood. Okay, so it's time to be honest. I know about how to build things, and I know about taking out people's kidneys and stuff like that, but I don't know much at all about internal combustion engines. So I leave that to the professionals. Now with that being said, let's take a tour under the hood. So in here, I replaced quite a bit, but the most important thing to me was making it look shiny. This thing used to be black, I didn't like that. So I said, let's make it shiny. I found one of those things online, it was shiny, boom, I got it. Same with this thing. That wasn't shiny before, now it's shiny. You know, the old valve covers, guess what color they were? Black, that's right. Guess what color they are now? Shiny! Now I know a little bit more than that. We've replaced a lot of hoses, spark plugs, fans, belts. Pretty much every functional part has been replaced. We got new air conditioner, radiator. We got new fuel injected system, uh, the computer to run it, new battery. I mean, it's not absolutely beautiful under the hood, but that's not really what I was going for. I didn't want a show car, I wanted a driver. So this will be the story of the Jeep. It's been a lot of fun putting it together so far. Me and Henry really look forward to the time we'll spend putting this Jeep back together. Once this thing's finished, it's gonna be my pride and joy. You'll end up seeing this Jeep for a long time to come. I've had a lot of friends helping me along the way and you'll get to meet them, but I'm really looking forward to the day that I can take my good friend Jeff out in my Jeep. 
and maybe one day me and Henry can ride around and talk about girls. On the next episode, we're going to get into the exterior, stripping off all the molding and vinyl wood grain and getting it repainted. Be safe, and we'll see you next time on the Wagoneer Project.